So in this video, we're going to look at functions of several variables. So a function uh, w, for instance, can be a function of, uh, for instance, n variables, n independent variables. Now, what we've been used to before, or you would have been used to before in calculus 1 and possibly calculus 2, are single variable functions. So where, um, uh, for instance, y is a function of x only. Here, we are looking at functions of several variables. Now, for, for the sake of uh, this course, we will mostly be looking at functions of usually up to three variables, so x, y, and z. <coughs> so function of x, y, and z. So in this, um, what were, as we do study functions, as in single variable calculus, or um, uh, when we study single variable functions, one of the first things we look at is a function is still the same thing. It is an input-output uh, system. Um, but here now the input has changed because instead of one input, there can be multiple inputs. So um, the concept of domain and range uh, becomes something that we need to revisit, um, but this time now for multivariate functions. So let's have a look at um, what that means uh, for uh, such variables. Best thing is to look at um, an example. And we'll first look at what is what is the domain of a multivariate function. So let's look at this example, z equals square root of 4 minus x squared minus y squared. Now, when we look at a function like this, we have to see what are the valid inputs to this function, which will essentially define the domain of the function. Now, we know that because of the square root, clearly 4 minus x squared minus y squared needs to be greater than or equal to 0, which implies, really, that um, x squared uh, plus y squared, in fact, is less than or equal to 4 at the end of the day. Now, if you look at this in the xy plane, that is a circle of radius 2. Now, the question is, what is in the domain of the function? What is the domain of this function? The domain of this function is what is inside the circle, including the boundary. So including the boundary, what's in the circle, is considered to be part of the domain uh, of this function. Okay, now... In a similar way, we could look at a different example. For instance, if you look at this slightly different example here, z equals x squared plus y squared minus 4 under the root, uh, this requires that x squared plus y squared minus 4 be greater than or equal to 0, uh, which means essentially that x squared plus y squared is greater than or equal to 4. Now, if I again draw this here, it's, this, it's a similar circle, well, it's the same circle, However, now the domain is outside the circle. So it's everything excluding what's inside the circle. So the boundary is included in this. So if I use a different color, so everything that's outside and including the boundary of the circle. Okay, uh, everything outside and including the boundary of the circle is the domain of this function. Now the range of the function uh, in this case, of course, is all positive. So it goes from 0 to infinity. And it's the same in the previous one. The range goes from 0 to infinity. Okay, so um, we can look at other examples. For instance, um, z equals 1 over xy. If we look at this example, clearly uh, this requires xy not be 0. Other than that, everything seems to be okay. And the range of this function is, of course, um, excluding uh, uh, it will never be 0. Um, minus infinity to 0 and 0 to plus uh, infinity would be the range of the function. Okay, uh, another example would be z equals sine of, for instance, xy. Here, um, everything, the entire plane, entire xy plane, uh, okay, is the domain of the function. Uh, this time, let's look at a three variable function x, y, ln, z. Now, clearly, here, um, um, there's no restriction on xy, but we clearly require z must be greater than 0. So, so z is greater than 0. As long as z is greater than 0, we're good. Um, so, um, that's basically it. And it maps on to minus infinity, so its range is minus infinity to plus infinity. I think that's enough. Uh, I hope you get an idea of what a domain and range of a, a multivariate function are.